Hello procrastinators and welcome back to FTL. Uh, strange challenge, strange challenge today. This is the what would Jesus do challenge. Basically, I am going to play FTL like I was Mr. Jesus and sort of see how Jesus would react to some of the situations and scenarios that come up in FTL. I think this is a, an important challenge. It's, I've been thinking about this one for ages now since, well, this, this morning. But I, I think it's an important one to do. If, if you don't know who Jesus is, um, very nice fellow, friendly, charismatic, told a lot of stories, uh, bearded, bit of a cult following. Um, essentially, Tim Schafer. If you don't know who Jesus is, just imagine Tim Schafer and, and you're on your way. Right, let's have a, let's have a new game. Uh, so we're going to use the most basic ship because Jesus was very much a basic sort of fellow. You know, he was sort of a sandals and that dressy thing he wore. He was never really a sort of a Ferraris and... Beyonce CDs kind of person. Uh, we'll name the ship the the USS God. Because, uh, well, no, he'd see, that's, what would God want with a spaceship? We'll call it the USS Bread. Because he was a big bread pusher, wasn't he, Jesus? He spoke about bread a lot. Uh, he should have worn loafers. Not sandals, loafers, loafers. No, fuck it. Uh, we're going to play, we're going to play uh, the game on easy. Because, Jesus Christ, your dad's God. Uh, that wasn't an exclamation. That was a... I was actually talking about Jesus Christ there. So we're going to play it on, on easy mode. Because, um, yeah, is is. I mean, you've seen kids with rich parents. They turn up in Maseratis and stuff. Imagine if your dad was... You'd have everything, wouldn't you? But like, Dad, I want a pony. <laughs> pony. You know, it would just... Instantaneous gratification. It would be wonderful. Um, so play on easy mode. We're going to we're gonna rename Justin here to Jesus. I'm not there indicating that Justin Timberlake is Jesus. Although... The similarities are there. We have Cubbin, who we're going to name... Oh, Josh Cubbin. No, you are John. And you will be Marcus. No, 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 no. Just simply Mark. So Mark and John are going to hang around with Jesus. Uh, we're going to have... Okay, let's, let's go through the rules. Anything I can do to sort of help people out will do. Uh, if people surrender, we have to say okay. Now, this is where the challenge gets difficult, in that Jesus was very much one for giving away his stuff. He was very pro giving away stuff. So anytime we see a store, we have to go to it, and we have to sell everything we currently have. All augmentations and weapons and drones and everything. Everything that we could sell, we can sell. We can then buy new stuff, but only from that store. And if we find another store, we have to sell it again. Instead of it sort of being money, it, we're going to use it belief. We're going to go Peter Molyneux style and say that's a belief thing. So you, they can they can give us stuff and we go, thank you, but we'll pass it on to the people who need it later on. Okay? So it's going to be a constant changing round of what weaponry we have. And we're going to try and not blow people up as much as possible. Although, you know, it might happen. Uh, so let's get started. I think that's everything. Okay, right. So, uh, Mr. Jesus is piloting. Yep. Uh, John is on shields. Get on shields. And Mark is on weapons. I'd much rather people have people on shields, you know, to protect, not engines to run away. I don't know if that's biblical, but it, it is in my brain. Right, where are we going to jump to? We have a nebula, or we have here, which doesn't attach to anything. Or oh, that attaches to stuff. What path do we want to take? Oh, this is, look, this is a god. A great picture of god here from uh, Futurama. Uh, we're going to go sort of around the nebula thing. I tend to avoid nebulas. It's a bit cloudy in there. Ah, we're next to a sun. Lovely. Right. We arrive at Beacon. The okay, we're being attacked by a robot. Now, robots don't get to heaven. Sorry, Crichton. You just don't. Uh, we're going to turn on uh, everything. Turn on all the stuff. Let's add some sort of dodginess to ourselves. Not dodginess as in sort of, you know, the prostitutes and stuff. I mean, dodginess is how to dodge things. Um, right. And uh, there we go. Right, Artemis. We're going we're gonna to take his shields down. Boop his protection, as it were, and then we're gonna sort of um, kick his weapons in. Boop, boop, boop. Nice. Been blown up a little bit there. We'll save the missile for next time, and we'll just send a. We'll take his drones out, but that should be enough to take him out uh, in a friendly way. This is a, this is just a robot. We, this is just a thing in the way. It's like kicking a stone. That's not a bad thing. We missed a few of those. So I'm gonna blow him up with the Artemis. Um, boop. Oh, I missed with that as well. But that fire exploded him. That was that was God's wrath. You know, sort of. It was the pony thing again. Right, we'll just empty that out to flood out the fire. Um, come on, piss off the fire. There we go, right, okay. He was very pro-fire as well, wasn't he? He was very sort of like, wee, fire means holiness and stuff. I don't know, I never met him. Uh, right, Rebel Fleet. They're, they're powering up their shields. Look, they're powering up their FTL to run away. But we, I, I can't attack them because they're, they're trying to run away. So what we'll do is we'll just power up our uh, FTL. If you want to run from weapons into the engine, I think we would power the engines up faster. I believe that's the thing. Let it well remember. Uh, they're attacking us, but, you know, let he who is without, so he who is without sin cast the first stone. True story. That rule also applies if you go to the seaside and start skimming 
So always, always choose with that sin goes first. Okay, so we're getting slightly attacked now. Um, engine's still functioning, so they can still run away and we can still run away. Uh, the oxygen supply is dwindling massively. We should probably get someone fixing that and not the doors. In fact, we should probably get... Oh, he's on the shields. Well, you're, you you keep doing that. Well, then now that's on fire. Now that's on fire. Um, what was, Does anybody know Jesus' stance on self-defense? It, it was... it was If someone slaps your ass cheek, you they can also slap your other ass cheek, wasn't it? It was something like that. I can't remember. I read a, a weird Bible. Um, okay, so... We'll just, we'll just let them keep beating us up and try and fix the problems ourselves. Okay, hopefully they'll they'll run away in a second. That's when I have oxygen, so if you can go and fix that, that'd be great. Uh, we don't want Jesus to die yet. Uh, right, okay, so that the, they've run away now, so that's fine. That's fine. He was out something without the cast of something something. I can't remember. Uh, right, oxygen supply is down, but the fire is out, so we can go and kill these guys with Jesus' magic healing touch. Look, he's just touching them. They're all like, whoa, look at this, getting healed. That would have been... Do you reckon he ever got, like, a splinter, like a paper cut, and could just touch it, and it would heal up? That would be, be just great. It's sort of like, boop, and then it was fine. Well, you'd obviously pull the bit of wood out first if it was a splinter. Unless it was in your eye, and then it was a log or something. I don't know. Uh, right, so we're going to have to send Jesus and John. Jesus and John are going to go, and they, they might get a bit injured because there's no oxygen anywhere, but um, they should be okay. We'll put you in here so we can swap them out and keep it going if need be. But I don't think that's a need be. That bee does not need. Right, you go and heal yourselves up, Jesus and John. Uh, Mark, if you could do the doors, that'll be good. Right, every room has oxygen in it again now. Oh, not the doors, the shields. Oh, it doesn't matter, we can we can put everyone on something. Right, John, get back on your shields, and Jesus, go back over there. So, there are some downsides to playing as Jesus. I will, I will point this out now, that there is a lot of getting your ass handed to you, just simply because he's not very... Um, he was an aggressive sort of guy. He was very much a, well, you're running away, I'll let you run away sort of person. Um, I assume he was. I mean, there was, uh, there's no story in the Bible where it's like, chapter 4, verse 12, and then he nutted him in thy noggin. You know, that never happened. Uh, right, let's have a jump. Where are we jumping to now? There. Kind of want to dodge stores, because losing the weaponry and the augments is quite vicious. Um, explore the asteroid field. Well, Jesus was very pro-exploration. As long as it's not of yourself, you're straight. Fuck you. Oh, actually, Jesus wasn't about that. That was sort of his dad. He had a really abusive father, didn't he, Jesus? Uh, let's... It's too dangerous. Let's just... Let's just get out of here. Don't... You don't willingly throw yourself into danger. Oh, no, a store! Right, we're gonna go and, um... We got, we've got to donate to this store, because this person is making a living out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, oh, we're getting a beam. Uh, right, so we have to sell... Sorry. Sorry. Okay, now what do we want to get? Um... Well, the problem is, the uh, we need something that's going to be able to go through the shield slightly. Does any of you have shield? No. Okay, required power 2, 2, 2 damage on systemless rooms. Uh, 2, 3, 2, 3, damage per room. That's a lot stronger, but unfortunately we need to knock their shields down first. So... Hmm. Okay, we'll, we'll fix the ship up, and we'll go for the hull beam for now. And that's just twice. That's just two damage per room. Charges faster and requires less power. Oh no, we got three power. We're gonna go for the. We're gonna go for the big beam. Gonna go for the bit of the big beam. Right, and then we'll go down here. Uh, can't actually use it because if anybody has even the slightest shields, we're screwed. Uh, hire the mercenary to delay the rebels. Hire the mercenary to scout the sector. Fight the ship, or we have no need of his surfaces. Well, this is a tricky one, morally speaking. I mean, this is a mercenary, so he sort of goes off and attacks people and does stuff like that. I mean, are we pro that? Is this the bit where we flip the tables up in the temple? I think we do technically have to attack this guy. Unfortunately, we can't attack this guy. Moral quandary here. I mean, if we try and attack this guy, we literally can't do anything to damage him and we'll have to then run away. So we're going to run away anyway, so we might as well run away now. Jesus was very pro time saving, I felt. Very pro time saving. We have no need of your services today, but we'll get God on him. Distress! We have to answer distress signals. Rule of Jesus. If there's a stress signal, we have to go there. Uh, we got a refugee ship. Oh, okay. Let's hail them. Hello. Right. Uh, we can give them eight fuel uh, for free. Oh, that's great. Yeah. We will. You can take some of our missiles. We get eight fuel. Fantastic. Right. We can go to the exit. Or we can try and explore a little bit higher to see if we can get some more stuff. I'm going to try and explore a little bit higher, just because you know, just because, just because. Um, the there's, there's nothing there. Nothing there. We can go a little higher. One, two... Oh, we can jump straight back. So we can go up here and then we can do a two jump back. We should be okay. Oh, hello. Something here. Um, 
Okay, right. They've armed their weapons. Oh, I haven't turned the shields back on. Probably best I do that. Uh, turn the medibay off. Turn the beam on, even though we can do no damage with it. That is the downside of this challenge so far, is that I can't quite damage anyone. He can go whoop whoop and one damage. It's fine. We'll take that on the other cheek or whatever you said. Uh, yes. Right. Um. Oh, oh, oh. That did good. That went through their shields. I didn't think they had any shield penetration. Okay, I accept your offer. You can live. See? Boom. Jesus ing. Oh no, we have to answer the stress signal. It's a rule. Shit, we're going to get clobbered by the bloody guys on the way across. Uh, that's fine. We have to go and answer the stress signal. Rule of the Jesus playthrough. Lead them to their destination. Well, of course. That's what I do. I'm a leader. Uh, where is your destination? It's in another one. Okay. Oh. Uh. Huh. Well, we're going to have to do a very difficult battle several times in a row now. This is this is this is very much a metaphor for Satan. Very much a metaphor for Satan. Very Satan was very pro uh, murder. Right. Um. Let's just do that. Oh, we've got the them attacking us. Great with the holy fire or something. Could we just charge? Let's just test the weapon. See if it actually does anything to the shields. I don't think it will. Nothing whatsoever. Okay, so uh, we need that fixed up quite badly. So if you can go and fix that up. Uh, okay, we're going to get a bit of a... This this might hurt this little bit here. Don't do that. Be gentle, be gentle, be gentle, be gentle, be gentle. Ooh, okay, well that's fine. That's a room to lose. Uh, the oxygen supply is dead and I've just run out of oxygen in here while I'm repairing this. Quite like that repaired so we can jump away, please. Quite like that. Let's get a second guy in there. Uh, let's go, well, while that's got no oxygen, we'll just let that flow through there. Uh, there we go. I've opened up the doors, so now we have some oxygen flowing around the place. Even though we have no oxygen respirators, it just evens out the oxygen. Uh, we are now getting our running away back on. Uh, Mark sort of needs to die. Oh! Not die, heal up. Don't die, Mark. Jesus, don't die, Mark. Jesus, don't die either. Uh, we need to turn that back on. No shields right now. That's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll just... You work on that. See? That's gone now. So we'll... We'll not gain oxygen. But we're not losing it either. Oh, we are losing oxygen. We're losing quite a lot of things right now. Uh, the beam is useless. We can't do any damage with it. Come on! Jesus. Come on, we've got to run away now, Jesus. Oh, miss. That's fine. Oh, I didn't need that room anyway. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, shit. Jump! Okay. Oh, God. We're going to jump back into the same battle again. Uh, hmm. I see a problem with the Jesus. Oh my god, John's died. John has died. Why did... Oh, because that ran out of oxygen. Let's just close that door there. Uh, right. You're pretty fucked if you do a Jesus playthrough. Jesus wasn't a... I think this... What we've illustrated here is the... The morality of FTL is FTL is a very dark game. Very dark. You have to be very morally grey to survive it. And if you go in as morally light, you'll you'll have problems. Um, maybe, um, well, now my ship's exploded, you see. Uh, so, yes. Um, what I'm trying to say with this video is that Evil triumphs over good if good is a fucking idiot about it. I think we've learned a lesson today. Thank you very much for listening, and amen. Enter the domain of the nerd cube. Videos dropping from above like bird poop. Enter the domain of the nerd cube. Videos dropping from above.